This is Hard Rocker Highlights from the Christensen Hall of Fame here on the campus of School of Mines. And Jason Henry, the head coach of the Hard Rockers, joins us after a very successful road trip up to Valley City and Jamestown in North Dakota. Jason, two really well-played games. You won both of them, moved into second place now in the DAC Conference. And from a coach's perspective, you have to be one happy Hard Rocker. Yeah, it's been a good few weeks now, and uh, you know, to be three ranked teams, top 25 teams the last three weeks. Uh, you know, we're sitting pretty good in the conference and, and a couple weeks left there, but but we are. We're playing pretty well and playing with confidence. And any time throughout the year that you can go on a stretch that we are, you're happy with that and hopefully that continues. Um, but to be doing it right now towards the end of the year, we're, we're that much more thankful, I guess, more than even happy that it is happening right now. And, and hopefully it continues. Uh, as we all know in the DAC, you know, it's it's could be a struggle at times and, and things can turn around either way, uh, you know, just within a game or two games. So uh, we're happy where we're at right now, but definitely not satisfied. In basketball, there's always one statistic that seems to dictate success and failure most of the time, and that is if you shoot the ball well and if you don't shoot the ball well. And I think the correlation between the six-game winning streak and the stretch you've been on and your shooting percentage, I think you'll see a correlation there. Oh, no question. That was one of the things that was... I wouldn't say frustrating, but it was. It was a little bit frustrating at times to, to start the year, and, and especially once we got going uh, into the year. We knew it was going to be a struggle uh, with losing so much uh, going into this year, but we get a lot of good shots and, and just didn't shoot and, uh, the ball well and shot 35% some halves and you know 30% and 40% and for the game. So once we brought that above the 500 mark, uh, you know that obviously has meant we've won some games now. Our defense, I won't say, is any better than it was at those times, but when you are uh, struggling on the offensive end, it affects your defense at times. And now, hopefully, our offense can keep going and our defense will you know, continue to be how it's been all year, and, and that's pretty steady. I think uh, if you also had to pinpoint a couple of things, I think uh, uh, there are three players that have really stepped up. You've had contributions from a lot of different players, uh, Tanner Friesen and uh, uh, Caleb Raymer's come off the bench, but if you look at the, the streak too, you rely on Dewar and Dietz and Jacobson, and they've really performed at a high level. Oh, no question. And, and uh, you know, I was looking back even last night or a couple nights ago on, on Jacobson and how much he's done for our team. And actually last year, he, we got him more shots during the game, and, and that's something that we had to do last year and, and probably something we still have to do this year. You know, we, we got to get him some touches and, uh, you know, coming off the screens, and, and he is. He's shooting the ball well in practice and, and even in the games. But the other things that he's doing for us right now that a lot of people don't, don't see when you're playing a, a Childress or some of these point guards that, you know, kind of take them out of their game and what they can do for their team, and, and he's neutralized them, especially on the defensive end. But hopefully he you know, continues to do that and, and even get some more uh, baskets for him or at least some more looks. But guys taking them away are the Dietzes and the Doers, which is just fine with him and, and just fine with our team because they are playing so well. And, and that might, you know, like I said, take away some of those touches. But yet it's, it's a, a chance where we're still winning games. And, and I know Nate definitely doesn't care, as all the guys right now. They just want to win right now, and, and that's the exciting part. Yeah, we don't want to forget Scott May because he did such a great job in craft from Valley City who had over, I don't know how many three-pointers it was. Fantastic total. He had one during the game. Yeah, and he does. He goes one for six, and, and I told somebody after the game, I got tired sitting on the bench watching Scott chase him around, because what they did in that particular game is something they'd like to do, you know, the last ten minutes of a game and that kind of thing, and they were basically doing it the whole game with, with Kraft running to the ball and coming off of, you know, little screens or handoffs and things, and, and Scott did a tremendous job of just staying with them at all times and, and not following them. I mean, he's second leading uh, free throw shooter in the uh, country, and uh, if he gets to the free throw line, you fall him. It's going to be his two points or even three points. So just not getting his points that way. And then, it, of course, uh, going one for six was a huge reason why we won that game. Briefly give us a little preview of Mayville State on Friday and then Dakota State on Saturday. Well, you know, with Mayville, they, they are. They're uh, a team that beat us up at their place. And, uh, you know, that was one of our three losses in the conference. And, and hopefully our guys are they remember that that was one of our losses because they're, they're a team that we don't match up with great uh, with. They're, they're very quick. They got you know a lot of athleticism, uh, shot the ball extremely well at their place. And if that continues at our place, you know it could be a long day because it, it, they are a, a very capable team of beating anybody. And, uh, and then the next night, you got a Dakota State team that's playing as well as, as we are right now, really, if not even better. Um, you know, a couple big wins at home and, and the teams that they've beat throughout the year, the Augustanas and 
Uh, Sioux Falls, they beat by 20. You know, you know that they're capable of, uh, of beating anybody in the conference, and they proved that last weekend with a, a couple big wins. So it is. It's a huge weekend for us, as all the weekends are this time of year, but uh, even more important when we're fighting for that conference championship uh, and, and hopefully uh, staying in that top half is we got to get a couple wins this weekend. Mayville at 5.30 in the doubleheader on Friday, then Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m., Dakota State in the doubleheader. Uh, Coaches Cure for Cancer and the American Cancer Society will be highlighted this weekend. And don't forget, you can watch the games on the GoRockers.com website. You can hear the games this weekend on the Hills 97.5. For Jason Henry, Tom Rudabush, and this is Hard Rocker Highlights for InsideDakotaSports.com.